Hello there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. Over the years, there's been one shot I've always wanted to try, the barrel to barrel sniper shot. Simple, the shooter shoots and the pellet flies through the air and goes straight down the barrel of another rifle. And today, I'm gonna try it. Why today? Well, I always wanted to take the shot with a traditional looking rifle and one powerful enough to push that pellet down the other barrel and with consistency and accuracy to do it. Thus, I have this, the new Daystate Huntsman HR. It's the same Huntsman I've reviewed many, many times and I ain't reviewing it again. But the one Daystate has sent me this time is the 30 foot pound version. So it's got plenty of umph and now it's regulated, which means the shot is consistent time after time. So on a shot like this, it will be either a case of me missing or it's just not physically possible. I don't need to worry about what the rifle is doing in any way, shape or form. And from a 250 bar charge, it's gonna give me 40 shots to try it. Firstly, I need to find something to shoot at. Now, it's all my own money, so I'm on a budget. I've got this. It's branded by some company or other in the UK, and I won't be promoting anything for them again. In fact, you would need to have the leaders of Israel and Iran discussing Hillary Clinton's medical conditions while sat naked in a swingers club before I would ever like to help them again. But it's good enough to be shot at. So I'm using the Huntsman for the critical shot. Now all I need is to build a rig to hold the yuck, sorry, pellet catcher. Oh, and if this does not work, I'll have wasted a few days and you'll never see this footage. So that might give you a clue of what's going to happen. Watch on. This is a 2-2 and that's a 2-2. So that's a good start. And I need to build something to hold the rifle so that I can get a pellet straight down that barrel. That's going to impede me when I'm shooting because it's got plastic around the front and it's not going to help. So I need to get that off first. Ta-da! What I'd like to do is, when I shoot down the barrel, is put something sort of explosive just there, which means that when the pellet comes out the end, hopefully, it's gonna make it go boom and I'm gonna know that I've actually done it. Um, so I need to find a way of sort of holding the gun kind of like that. Got it. basis of my setup. This metal bar here is so I can angle the barrel for wherever I'm shooting. And this metal bar here will allow me to mount something at the breech end so when the pellet flies out it'll hit something to make something go bang. That's it, simple as. If it doesn't work, all I've done is waste a perfectly good bucket. And now all I've got to do is leave it to dry overnight. Before I continue, I need to give you a safety warning. Do not try this at home. Kids or big kids alike. I'm at the braces of Bristol range. I've got acres and acres of fallout should something go wrong. That pellet could go anywhere if it nicks the side of the barrel. 
So do not try this at home, and in fact, just don't do it. And the wind is blowing, so this is gonna make this quite tricky. I have made a couple of adjustments to the rig. I've put a brace across the top to stop this all banging together. There's a little plate there, just in case I do miss, even though I said I was hoping not to. And then I've also put a cable tie just to hold the barrel in place. And you can hear the big plane going overhead. I'm shooting from around 15 hefty paces because of the wind today, and I'm shooting at the end of that barrel. Before I start shooting, I'm just checking my accuracy and zeroing everything up. Now, I've swapped the scope out because my Nico Sterling uh, Panamax arrived yesterday, so I've whacked that straight on, and I really, really like it. It's nice and clear. I've got it set on about eight, and I'm shooting at about 15 yards, which is quite close, uh, but the image is really, really clear, and the pellets are going exactly where the crosshair needs to go, which means I can start. Hopefully you can see me here in the dark. From doing some quick zeroing shots, I can see that that barrel out there is pointing up a little bit too high, so I need to go and make it just a little bit flatter. This is science in action. The Huntsman has to put the shot right on target, 5.5 mil on target. Shrapnel is not going to make its way down the barrel and set off the Firebird exploding target. I think it has to be pellet shaped to go down that extra barrel. And when the pellet leaves the barrel of the Huntsman, I think it's spinning. I think clockwise due to the rifling. As soon as it enters the receiving barrel, it will be stopped and reverted to counterclockwise. And that, I think, will shave the pellet a bit. That's why the gun firing needs plenty of power to overcome this action. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> No, 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 that, that was first shot, no, no, first shot, I gotta go look, nearly forgot you, come on let's go have a look, <laughs> first shot, no let's get this right, First shot. I, I, okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so I'm looking for. There's a camera there. I'm looking for any signs that we didn't go down the barrel. And we're all completely intact. Look at the devastation on that gun from that target. Wow. <laughs> Just look, I caught something. As the pellet enters the barrel, it expels some dust. I think that's lead shavings from the reverse rifling effect as it enters. Or it could be I clip the edge. But if I clip the edge, would the pellet as shrapnel go all the way down the barrel? I don't think so. That's a clean shot. It went straight down. You can't see any damage. There's no way that that pellet got there unless it went down that barrel, is there? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> That actually works so well first time, and I think I'll probably never do it again. I'm gonna stick something on the scope. Let's try a bit of scope cam footage. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. Can you see the big smile on my face? Because I can't wipe it off. I've finally done it. It's taken me about 10 days to set this up and get this organized, but I've finally done it. I've fired from one rifle and gone straight down the barrel of another. And I've done it with the first shot. And I did it with the Huntsman Humor Regulated Regal. First shot, big smile. And if you enjoyed that, please like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye bye.